Polls are open in both Kansas and Missouri for the 2023 general election. Voters on both sides of our state line are turning out to make their vote count. Now, this is not a presidential election, but there are still important items on the ballot affecting the future of communities in Kansas and Missouri. You've got seven more hours now to cast your ballots in both states. Let's catch up with KNBC 9's Matt Evans, who's joining us live from the Missouri side. Matt. Yes, and the weather, Kelly, is going to greatly help voter turnout today. We talked earlier today to the Kansas City Election Board Director, Sean Kiefer. He said the early morning hours are relatively slow. Later in the morning, though, as the sun started to come out, temperatures started to warm up. More and more people started going to polling places. As you can see, folks walking in here to this polling place. This is the Warnell Road Baptist Church off of Warnell and Meyer. And it has been fairly busy today, especially for an election with so few questions on the ballot. Here in Kansas City, Missouri, there's going to be three questions. One is that KCATA 38 cents sales tax we've been talking about for a while, the extension of it for another 10 years. Another about uh, selling some parks land. And then another question that is Jackson Countywide over a new use tax, which we talked about yesterday. You'll hear more about it on the newscast uh, later today as well. So as far as uh, the turnout for these elections, uh, Kiefer with the Kansas City Election Board hoping for maybe 10 percent. Jackson County Election Board hoping for something around the same as well. But still, that is a very low voter turnout for any election. We are going to talk to some folks later on today about some ideas to boost voter turnout for these local elections because they are so important and they do really have a lot to do with the future of our city, the past that they go as well. So we'll have those ideas for you coming up at 4, 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. We're live in Kansas City. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. In Missouri, voters have several tax issues to decide on. Leaders in a few cities, including Pleasant Hill and Drexel, want voters to add a 3% sales tax to recreational marijuana sales. Clay County wants to help improve its 911 system with a fee for cell phones. And Kansas City wants voters to renew a sales tax that helps fund the KCATA bus system. In Kansas, many races are for school boards, city councils, and a few local elections for mayor. KNBC 9's Martin Augustine is getting you prepared before you hit the ballot box. Well, first off, it's a good idea just to double check the location of your polling place. That'll change from time to time. We're here in the Johnson County Arts and Heritage Building. A number of people vote here. Your voter registration information will go a long way toward telling you where that location is. Now, you're going to be asked to show a photo ID when you show up to vote, so have that ready to go. It's also a good idea to double check a sample ballot, which you can find on your county election office website or the Kansas Secretary of State website, too, just to go over the issues that may be unique to you and your voting district. Now, here in Johnson County, Kansas, if if you're using an advanced ballot to be sent in through the mail, that envelope yes. must be postmarked today. You may also take that ballot and drop it off at one of eight locations across Johnson County, but that has to be done by 7 o'clock tonight. If you're voting in person, it's all the same. The polls open at 7, they'll close at 7 tonight. Something to point out there if you're going to vote late, your schedule won't allow for you to go any earlier, and you're in line when 7 o'clock rolls around, don't worry about that. Just stay in line. Anybody in line when the polls close will be allowed to vote. One more thing, uh, on my X feed, that's the social media platform formerly known as Twitter. I have a number of links to county election office websites. If you go there, just about any question you have will be answered. A big help on election day. Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. For folks in Jackson County living outside Kansas City, there's only one question on the ballot. Question one asks the voters to approve a 1.38% use tax. Companies outside Missouri would pay it when selling goods to Jackson County residents. The county believes it would raise about $40 million a year for things like courthouse maintenance. But some people say they're upset about the county asking for more tax money in the middle of the property assessment debacle. They don't need another boon of taxes coming into the county when they can't manage what they already have. These infrastructure things are critical to the support systems we need to serve Jackson Countyans. So these buildings have a lot of need. Voter turnout in Jackson County is expected to be between 8 and 10 percent. Make KMBC 9 your home for Election Day coverage. We'll have reports throughout the day. Then you can watch the results roll in tonight after the polls close at 7. And